Hello, alaikum everyone. Ke hale, metiku apkesi you. I hope you all are fine. Today I'm gonna tell you in this video who I am, what I am doing right now, what I did in Pakistan, Charsal, and what I will do. Okay, thanks for watching my video. At the beginning, I just want to say that today I wear my Pakistani kameez. So let's start my story. Uh, I'm just living in Istanbul right now. I work in a chocolate company, which is a very <laughs> tasteful job. Uh, so I have two big brothers and I'm the only daughter of my family. So you can easily understand how it is difficult for my family to send one daughter to Pakistan. I will start my story from the beginning so you can easily understand my story. In my high school, I was very, very successful, successful student in science. So my old teachers were supporting me to choose science. And today, we will choose our um, subjects. So my old teachers told my father she should choose um, science. But at that day, um, I told my father I will choose English. All my teachers were in shock because my English was terrible. My all <laughs> uh, points were bad in English because I was not able to talk. I was not able to understand grammar and everything. So my teachers told my father she cannot choose English. She is not good in English. So my father turned my teachers and he told them no she will choose english i believe my daughter she will do best at that day my english journey started unfortunately i went tin sal uh, english courses all english courses i went i just struggled with english but unfortunately still i was not able to understand english still i was not understand able to understand grammar and everything i had headache <laughs> so one of my teacher told me that if you want to learn english so you should go abroad you should leave another country so you can easily learn i came home i think about that so i thought that my teacher is right. I shared this idea with my father and he said to me, yes, you are right. You should go abroad. Otherwise, you will not able to learn English because in Turkey, no one talks in English. You are not able to improve your language. You're not able to talk to chance in English. So you have to go abroad. I started to ch uh, check, search all the countries. And when I check, all European countries was so expensive. It not <laughs> expensive, and um, then I found Pakistan, and I thought that Pakistan is a great opportunity for me because this country is our brother country, and the country is a um, Muslim country. So I thought that this will be a good opportunity for me. When I share my idea about Pakistan, my father immediately, he told me that, yes, Pakistan is a brother country. They love Turkish people and they always support us. They are Muslim. So you will easily live over there. I know that, that they will keep you safe. So I believe Pakistani people. So he sent me to Pakistan. At that time, I was 17 years old and I was child. I never uh, go far away from my family till that time. So I was so excited. I was afraid, but uh, Alhamdulillah, I went Pakistan in Lahore, Lahore. Uh, and when I arrived over there in airport, uh, do you know hot weather on my face and everyone uh, in airport wearing shalwar kameez and talking in Urdu so I was in shock at the beginning at the first time I said myself oh my god oh my god where I am <laughs> I realized that at the beginning 
Of course, at the beginning, everything was so difficult because I don't know English, I don't know Urdu, I don't know um, people, uh, culture over there, eating and style and everything is different. Of course, it was really difficult for me, but char saw passed and you cannot imagine how great time over there I spent with my friends, with my environment, in my university. Alhamdulillah, everything was perfect. I gained over there really great uh, friendship. I learned lots of things over there. Uh, and again, Koibi Chen said to go to Pakistan without thinking, of course I will go. I had lots of perfect Acha memories over there. Uh, I will tell you that. For example, I love chicken karahi, I love rickshaw, chin chin and everything. And about Pakistan, I love everything. Uh, I never imagined that I will miss Pakistan that much, but Alhamdulillah, I did this uh, opportunity and I went over there. Uh, in my first year, everything was so difficult. For example, when I went to university in my first class, you know, teacher was talking in English very fast and their pronunciation is also so different, as you know, in Pakistan. So, uh, you know, the lecture one and a half hour, uh, I just listened to my teacher. I tried to understand something over there. I couldn't understand even a word. I had headache. I said to myself, oh my God, I should turn back. But my family told me that this is your opportunity, this is your chance, you cannot turn back, try your best, you have to struggle with that. So they were right, I just tried to struggle. In my second lecture, I said myself, listen, focus your teacher and try to learn one word, try to understand one word, it will be enough for you. So I listen my teacher and just try to understand one word. One and a half hour, I just understand one word from my teacher. I was so happy. I said to myself, oh, I understand one word. It was a small. The word was small. The word was small. So I was happy. I understand that small. But he made like this, teacher. So I understood that time. It was a not small, it was a smoke. <laughs> this was, you know, uh, another memory for me. Uh, so, you know, uh, I, 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 in Pakistan, I meet with lots of great people over there. Uh, for example, I was going shopping over there. Uh, to buy some vegetables and there was an uncle uh, he doesn't know English he, he was talking in Urdu so I was not able to talk in Urdu at that time uh, I went over there I asked him for let do some vegetables but he couldn't understand me so we were not able to understand each other but he was a poor man, but he was so kind and nice person. He was trying to help me and he was saying to me, Beta, uh, <laughs> like this, he was just helping me. And one day when I went over there, he was so poor, poor but uh, still he was trying to help me. One day when I went over there, I saw that in that shop, uh, he buy one and poster which has all vegetables then he told me that beta you can see over here all the vegetables and show me the picture so i can understand you easily look at that people how they are so kind how they are helping actually i made lots of riksha uh, uncles fighting about the pesa uh, money and uh, rupees and everything so i learned urdu with fighting riksha uncles <laughs> it was also good experience for me so uh, you know uh, still i am uh, talking with my friends over there um, this is a really great country
Uh, I always love Pakistan. Mujer Tumse, Bot Pierre, Pakistan se. Pakistan Zindabad. Actually, we went uh, Waka border also. It was also a good experience for me to see this Waka border, all Pakistani people over there uh, for their country. This is also good for nationality. I was living in Wapta town, uh, so that was a good environment. Uh, and Pakistani people were really helping me over there uh, to adjust the culture and uh, <laughs> I love uh, Rahmet Chow and there was a rainbow market over there so we were going over there for shopping and we were buying a shawarma I love that shawarma I will go again for this shawarma because the yogurt of shawarma and spices everything was perfect you know I was eating not one two <laughs> I was fan of that shawarma and milkshake. You know, these tastes are perfect. And when I go to uh, university one time, um, uh, on the back side of university, I saw lots of motorbike over there. Lots of, you cannot imagine, lots. And I thought that there is a place which is selling motorbike because that was so much motorbike so but after that i learned that these are not selling these are for all students which they bring <laughs> yani this is the auto park they are parking their motorbike yani lots of motorbikes in pakistan <laughs> it is also another funny story in my youtube videos inshallah i will uh, tell all my pakistani people friends, uh, Turkish culture, and I will uh, ask them their questions and I will try to help them about Turkey and another country's uh, experiences. Um, I hope I am waiting their support and everything. I hope you will like my videos and if you need uh, another kind of video, if you have any question, you can ask me, I will try to help you. I just want to uh, be together with you over here in this platform. Uh, I hope you will like it. Enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching my video till over here and listening my story about Pakistan. Uh, I hope my new videos will come and you will like it. Waiting your comments and thank you so much. Bot bot shikriya. Jazakallah.